This is Ben's stuff. Benjamin, Ben Stuff is on a eight hour drive. We're leaving from St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada, and we're heading all the way to Boston. And where are we going to go to see in Boston? Boston Dynamics. <laughs> yeah, Boston Dynamics. Yes, we have a tour of the facility. We're going to check out the robots that they have there. Mm -hmm. We're going to hopefully see um, Atlas and Spot. Hi, yeah, Atlas and Spot, like the old one and the new Atlas. Man, I'd be so pumped up to see that new Atlas. Yeah. Everybody's seen the video. I'm everybody's seen the video of it standing up and yes. walking around. That thing is crazy looking. <laughs> I'm excited to see the old one too. Apparently, they have like some kind of museum or something you can walk through. You can see all the uh, old atlases that they had. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. All right, so we are going to get ready. We are all packed up. We are going to go ahead into the car, and we're going to start the drive. <sighs> it's going to be a long drive, <laughs> but it's going to be worth it. I am so jacked up to see this place. I've yeah. seen so many videos mm -hmm. and photos of cool stuff at that place, and just to be able to walk around there and say, hey, I was, I was at that spot where they made that video. I think that's going to be really cool. Yeah, that's going to be really cool. What's the most exciting thing that you are hoping for when you go there? Um, well, obviously seeing Spot in the robots. Yeah. And um, just getting the tour tour and seeing the place. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to do that. Yeah. Do you think they'll even let you like use Spot and like walk it around? Hopefully. Man, how cool would that be? <laughs> That's like everybody's dream to take that thing out for a walk. Like not many yeah. people do that. It's so it's it's expensive to get it. But just to be able to have the, the chance to be able to walk it around and or make it run. Yeah. Oh man. Do you think they'll let you kick the new Atlas and like see if they can push it down like the other video? Man, I don't know. <laughs> they just made it. <laughs> That'll be so much fun. All right, guys, we are gonna get in the car. We're on our way. We'll see you soon. Bye! Benjamin, the long drive is finally over. Yeah. It was like seven and a half hours of driving. We finally made it here. We're at Boston Dynamics. Are you jacked up? Yes. Yeah, Ben's stuff is at Boston Dynamics, guys. We're outside the facility. Yeah. We're gonna be going in in about 15 minutes. We're gonna check it out. All right. And what are you hoping to see? Atlas and Spot for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Look at the, the building's huge. Yeah. We're gonna go inside there and we're gonna check it all out. And there's some stuff on the outside as well that we see where we saw Atlas walking around. Remember in the snow? Yeah. So yeah. I think it was over there. Yeah, there was like a hill over there. So that's probably where they were doing the Atlas, where they were seeing how well it worked, walked in the snow and kicking it and <laughs> all yeah. that fun, fun, funny stuff. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to walk in. Yep. Do you want to do a walk around first and take a look at it? Sure. All right, so we'll walk around the building and then we'll go inside. That should take us about 15 minutes, <laughs> right? And then, oh man, I can't wait. <laughs> you excited? It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> it seems a little surreal that we're right here in front of this building after all the videos we've seen on the internet on YouTube guys the ones that you've seen too of Spot and Atlas we're here we're right in front of it we're like reach a touch away from touching these things wait a minute look can you see it? it's like a rainbow spot oh man I don't know if I can zoom in let's see <laughs> All right, we'll walk over there. We'll, guys sh we'll show you what the rainbow spot looks like. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so this is us inside the facility. We were able to go upstairs and take a look at all the different parts that they have in the tray here. Yep. But just a disclaimer, just to let you guys know that Boston Dynamics isn't open to the public. We were invited to come. So it's not something that you guys can just drive up to and just walk in and see. You have to be invited to it. So we were extremely fortunate to be able to go inside. Yeah. I thought some of the parts that I saw here were pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like they had like the legs, some of the motors. They had some spot feet. Yeah, and tires. And there was a lot of cool stuff like right here. I think these are some of the leg parts and arm parts. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a LiDAR, that black LIDAR, one. LiDAR, that's, um, that's for spot, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And then they showed us all like the robots that they had over time. like. Like this one. I can't remember the name of this one. I can't remember it either. But it jumps up on like buildings and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think they said it was jumped up like 30 feet. Yeah. Yeah. This one I think believes... This one climbs yeah. like windows and stuff. 
This one here, I think they're telling us that the feet had little claws on them and they broke off. Yeah. But the thing is that these robots are good because if they break and they do, if they don't do what they're supposed to, it's like a learning thing for them. They, they want things to break so then they can learn. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. So normally when you like break something or you you fail at something, you get all discouraged. But these guys get all jacked up. They're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why did it do that? So this is like their fastest one, I think. Yeah, I think this is all like the progression of all their, uh, I guess up to Atlas, right? Like how they, they did certain things like some run fast, some jump. I think it's pretty cool, the progression. And the size of these things, like... I, Looking at them there, probably on your screen, it might not look too big, but when you're up close and personal, holy moly. Yeah. They're huge. Yeah, that one right there was the one that, remember I was, I was telling you about, when the, in the video it shows their legs getting locked up and it falls? Yeah. And then there's the box picker up. And then right. these are the atlases here. Mm-hmm. And there's that video too where they're all dancing, mm -hmm. and they have that one the robot there that picks up the boxes that was dancing with them, kind of looks like an ostrich. Yeah. That's their first robot? I think it was the first one they mentioned, yeah. And it's just like kind of like hopped up and down. And it did backflips and stuff, I'm pretty sure. This one is another Atlas. Yeah, look at its legs. That's Petman. This one, I forget what it's called, but... I think it's really cool. Look at the frame of it, though. Like, it's all metal. It must be so heavy. I miss it there already. I know, I want to go back. <laughs> you, you can't get bored there to me. Uh, no, yeah, it seemed like it went by so fast. We were there for like 90 minutes, I believe, and it felt like it was like two seconds long. Like, it was so entertaining. There was so much to see and do. Mm-hmm. Look at these. So these are the other atlases that they had, like, their progression. And then at the end of this video, too, we, we'll show you, like, there's some pictures that we put in there that have, like, uh, you standing with the atlas that you guys normally would see in the videos. No, I think that's the one before it. Is it? Yeah. Mm, we'll take a look. We'll get to it pretty cool with all these guys and in this picture they had spots roaming around it yeah so like, yeah it's like a mapping of all the area of the building and you, you can see like all the swirl marks and everything so everywhere it's gone like it it did everywhere look at that right that's really i wonder cool. how long it took i don't think i asked how long it took but it must have taken a long time right that's a lot of spots i think you may have asked but but it's a pretty cool picture though they have that mounted on the wall I think that was pretty cool that you even have that. And then, is this the one? Oh yeah, this is one where they just like, I think they just let them roam or something. These robots are out here purposely to push the maximum limits of what is possible. They are testing these spots through all different types of elements when it rains, the cold weather, and hot weather to make sure that it can withstand the paces their customers put them through. I don't think I could ever let my spot go out in the rain or snow. I'd be so protective of it. Mm. But it's a pretty cool area. Look at that. It looks like a, like a jungle gym for kids. Yeah. And then I started driving it here. Right. So you got lucky enough to actually drive one of these, right? <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? How was the remote? It was really easy to drive. Yeah? Yeah. It was literally like a Nintendo. The screen was in the middle, and you're just holding the controllers in. Oh, so like a Nintendo Switch. Mm-hmm. That's cool. So was it like if you pressed up, it went forward? Is that how that worked? Mm-hmm. Is it is it exactly how, like Minecraft or something. Yeah, you just move around? If you press it up really fast, does it run, or is it just... There's like a little dial, there's on the screen there's a little dial you can change the speed. Oh really? But you have to do that on the screen before you move it? Yeah. That claw on the top is super cool looking. It was actually pretty easy to use. Yeah? You just kind of got to get used to it, but... And look at it, look how it walks. It was just... Like it's, like it's a real dog. Like you don't even, you don't think it's a robot half the time, you're like, oh it's just my friend. Look at that, eh? So what else was on the screen? There I, was, um... I didn't really get to see. There was, like, a whole menu about the claw. Right. And then you could change the speed, and then you can let it, like, sit. And then there's a mode where you can just make it look around. I think you'll see that in a minute. Oh, yeah. So I think I tried here to t see the screen, but it was too bright. I wasn't able to see it. 
but the screen does it show you like what spot sees yeah yeah okay and so you can th- change the camera angle too really i think this is when i go max speed but i'm not sure no i think we're trying to pick up mom's oh, yeah. little purse there now how did you do this did it did you have to like target the purse to pick it up or how did it yeah so you had there was a menu thing and then you pick um i forget what it was called something pick up and then you tap the item that you want to pick up the, on the screen. Right. It, and then it goes after it. I see. So it uses some kind of sensors to grab it. Yeah. But where is it, like, how is it even seeing that? Like, it's, if I'm looking at the front of the spot, it's looking forward. Does it have cameras looking down as well? It must have cameras everywhere, right? Yeah, left, right, front, back. Yeah. So this is you trying to pick it up, because it didn't pick it up the first time, right? Yeah, it was laying down the wrong way. Well, I guess it's hard to pick up some things. There we go. Is it going to do it this time? Oh. I think it does. Yeah, look at it. Yeah! You did it! (laughs) That's so cool. I wonder how much uh, the arm can actually hold, like, picking up stuff. I'm not sure. I wonder if it's even able to pick up an egg without cracking it. We did that with that one robot arm. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if this one can do it too. Like, can it be gentle? I would think so, right? Maybe it has a sensor where you can t- you can press A. Did it say anything on the screen about what you're picking up? Or it just, that's what you want to pick up, you just click There is it. an option before you pick it up. Any direction or top down or like kind of like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not left or right? Yeah. That was pretty cool, though. All right, I think you're going to get ready to start moving it fast or running it. Oh, look at the fist bump. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Fist bump's cool. And then that's pretty fast. Yeah, it was moving quickly. Look at them go. I think they said like three, four. Three, yeah, four miles per hour or something. I can't remember how fast it was. It was pretty quick. There was so much information that we were taking in. It was so hard to remember everything. But it's just cool looking. I still can't believe you're able to walk it though and take it outside. I didn't even think that was going to be part of the tour. No. Wow. So nice to this set is, up. This is the dance. Yeah. <laughs> it's bowing. Yeah. Two bows. Yeah, the dance was cool. So was it just a dance button? Yeah. You just pressed the button and that was it? Oh, that's cool. It's got pre programmed stuff on it. I like that. The jumping was pretty neat. He is a good dancer. Yeah, I like that one. Man. <laughs> <laughs> was there other dancing or no? This was this was uh, galloping. It was what? This is galloping here. Galloping. So it's like a horse kind of, oh, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Was there other other ones besides dancing and galloping? I didn't. I didn't get. To see I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. There was. There is a couple things. Yeah, oh, I, I can't. I really can't remember. There's so much <laughs> things. <laughs> That's good though. You wanted to be able to do a lot of things. I wonder if you, how fast it can go if it's galloping. It's pretty cool. What's it doing now? Um, I forget. I think I'm. I think someone's giving me instructions. Oh, oh. down it goes. That's pretty cool how it lays down. Yeah. And just like that, stands right back up. And he comes and, back. And again, when these ro- these robots, when you see them on TV, they don't seem very big. No. Well, this thing was huge. Yeah, it was massive. I couldn't believe it. Same with Atlas. Atlas was as tall as me. Even taller. Was it? Because I, I, it was it was kind of crouching. Six feet. Oh, that's right. It was crouching down a bit. Look at that. Mm. It's beautiful. I like how it comes with different colors, too. Because I believe we saw one uh, that was black. I think they custom did that. Mm-hmm. And then we saw, was it Sprinkle? Remember they put the, uh, in one of their videos, they made it look like a real dog? Mm-hmm. I think that was really cool. Oh, I think that was Sparkle. It was Sparkle? I, oh, that's I, right, Sparkle. Then what I thought was pretty cool, too, was that they told us that uh, Spot can't see glass. Mm-hmm. And yet, you know what? When you think about it, you really don't you you don't think about that stuff. No, like yeah, because so you can put 
spot and walk around. And he sees, well, the spot sees through the window. And he would just, like, walk right through it, probably. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful with the glass. And that's that's important to know. I couldn't imagine uh, just walking along or setting on a Roman and then it just smashes through <laughs> the windows. But, yeah, it was really fun watching you walk that around. There's so much to do. I was just... I didn't know what to do. I was just walking it. Yeah. I, I didn't know what to do. It was just, there's so many things. And he, so this is when uh, Spot was walking down the stairs and up the stairs. Apparently you have to walk it backwards. I think I think it's easier. They said it was easier for it to walk backwards, but you could walk it forwards if you needed to. It's just more dangerous, I think. Yeah, maybe it's more top heavy. I can't remember what the reasoning was, but still neat though. Yeah, I like it. doop a doop a doop a doop <laughs> like it's so effortless like it just walk look at that just boom 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 it's amazing how fast it just walks up so this is up on the top we're looking down so that's we're the museum yeah this is the main lobby yeah Ben giving his thumbs up that's me and Ben yeah and that's the CTO right there with Ben who's nice enough to come down and talk with us there's Atlas. That's what I'm talking about. He's huge. Yeah, he's ginormous. I like that picture. That's probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah, I love that one. Mm -hmm. And there's us in the end. <laughs> Super cool, buddy. I loved it. And that's the thing you saw in the window when the first thing in the video. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Yep. Hopefully, we can go there again. Yeah. That would be super cool. Mm. All right, thanks, Boston Dynamics. Thanks for everybody for helping us and letting us into your home. Yeah, you guys were very nice. Yeah, it was awesome there. Thank you so much. Bye.